Hello and welcome to episode 10 of our Timberborn Update 3 modded aesthetic playthrough with the Volktales faction. It's been a little while. Been on a vacation with my family the past couple of weeks, so I'm currently recording this from a hotel room somewhere in Arizona, so thanks for bearing with me. Glad to get back into it. A little bit, a little bit under the weather as well, so it's good to get back into the swing of things here. So we've got a couple different things that we can address in today's episode, specifically a few things you guys have brought up in the comment section like this university area right here. We're going to make this look a little bit nicer and then address some of these forest areas being a little monotonous. We'll mix up the stuff there and then we'll get a whole bunch of other small improvements made over here and continue to make this the best looking area that we can. So starting off, we haven't really done anything over here, but a couple of you have suggested that we do the... Uh, what do you call these things? The suspension bridges coming off of this guy right here. So we'll go ahead and set that into motion, which of course is going to require us to get rid of this and uh, get something figured out that way. But of course to get over here, it means we're gonna have to get these things out of the way. So we'll go ahead and get rid of those. And then we'll go ahead and Kind of create a little bit of a slightly meandering path here. So this will have a little bit better access over here. We might even just get rid of this part entirely and just have this one little bridge right there. We'll see how that looks. We'll make that decision in a little bit. Now over here, a couple of you had some pretty good suggestions on how to make this look a little nicer. So we'll go ahead and take those into account. Specifically, received one that said, get rid of most of this and the path and then actually build a smaller windmill on pretty much this square and then move the paths out one more level one more level one more space rather there we go so we'll go ahead and do that on this side then we can delete these guys so what's going to end up happening here is we'll do this guy right like that Actually, we might not even need to mess with the spiral staircases or anything else right here. We'll let them build this, and then we will replace this guy with the smaller one. Because this really, this only needs 200 horsepower. And these little guys can make 200. I don't think they always do, so we'll go ahead and put two in. And also, symmetry is nice. It's fun to look at, so we will keep that in mind. There we go. And this also allows us to do a little bit more landscaping here. Put in some nice trees, I think. Are we still in a plantable area here? I actually don't know. Okay, no, so not all of this is plantable. I think that was why I hadn't done that before, but we'll get that fixed. We'll put another forester in here for just such an occasion. Actually, we could probably just permanently have one here. There's enough stuff that needs to be uh, planted. We can certainly put more trees everywhere, so why don't we just go ahead and do that? Actually, no. You know what? We'll make it a part of the university. And just pop this guy... Uh, let's see right here. Yeah, that'll be nice. Then we'll put a couple of maples in. We'll be able to uh, make things look a little better once this is all kind of taken care of here. Actually, we can just go ahead and make this a pine. Why not? I actually don't remember what I planted here. That's fine little incremental improvements. All right, let's go ahead and put in our staircase right here. Just connect these up. I think that should still be in range. Oh yeah, plenty of range. So once these are all built, then we'll come in here and get rid of this little staircase and we'll see what else we might be able to do with that. And that's gonna be a nice change to make over there. Now, a couple of you have also said that I should move these gear workshops back. I absolutely agree. 
It was just a matter of convenience to have them where they were. So we will do it just that. We just kind of have to be able to get back here. And I don't want to get rid of these gear workshops quite yet. Because we, uh, we do kind of need those. So I guess it's up to our beaver friends here to gather a whole bunch of scrap metal. That they actually can't store because we can't process it fast enough. We're full of metal blocks. Oh, and that's only for planks. Who am I kidding? I should have made one of these for metal blocks. Man. Well, I guess it's not too late for that, but then I have to put these 180 somewhere else. But if I delete this, it should just put everything back on the ground. So we might actually do that. Yeah, large underground pile takes 40. Okay, we don't have enough gears for that, so that's not going to be super. Uh, not going to be super useful. But doing uh, doing another one of these for metal blocks and honestly scrap metal would probably be the smart thing to do. Just need to make sure we get some more of these gears put in place first before we do any more of that. Because that's definitely going to cause some problems if we uh, do that too quickly. So in the meantime, if we can come over here and start improving this area a little bit. I think we can get rid of some of these pines and turn them into other trees. So let's just kind of randomly pick a few of these to just de-plant. So what all that means is when they finally get uh, cut down, they won't regrow as a pine tree. We'll just have to come in here with another type of tree and see what else we can do with that. So what we'll do here is we'll just do a couple more of these. Try to make it look kind of random. It's not always easy when everything's on a grid like that. Yeah, so we'll just have to keep an eye out later to replant these with some other types of trees. And that should look a lot better. All right. So that's going to be nice. We already have the first one right here we can start replacing. So I'm going to just go ahead and put this one as a maple tree. Obviously, they're not all going to be that fast. But getting one of those in there is good at least because that way we know if I forget to do any of the rest of those, then well, we at least got that much done. This guy's already making 113 just like that. So I think we're OK to go ahead and get rid of this. Here we go, deleting the uh, stacks of stuff again. That's not the best way to operate, folks. Well, that's no big deal. Right, they'll go ahead and gather the rest of all this scrap, and then that's going to make that look so much nicer. And I think... There are a couple other things people wanted me to do with this, and I think reorganize how all of these uh, staircases are, get rid of the shrubs and everything. But I'm not really sure I want to do anything else really at this exact moment. Because if I were to get rid of these, then I don't think I could get all the way up here, because this is too high, and the spiral staircase is only one high. But I have to have uh, two wide right here to get up there. Plus, I kind of like how this looks. I don't know. I mean, I'm not firmly wedded to the idea. But I think for right now, this is a good uh, good compromise here. Let's go ahead and plant a couple more trees. Let's kind of randomly put these in place. Can't forget to put in a couple more of these lumberjacks. Actually, we probably don't need too many more. So we've already got one there. Uh, I will go ahead and put in a second one. I'll put in two right here in the university area. Maybe they have a forestry department. I know at least in the United States, some of the larger schools will have stuff like this where people can get a education about 
different types of, I don't know. I mean, I was a music major for a couple of years and then I finished with a degree in journalism. So I don't know. I don't know exactly how the other half lives, <laughs> but I know there's some schools that have studies departments on things like forestry and farming. And you would not believe some of the stuff that they end up studying there. It's, re it's really wild. Take a chance to uh, talk to some people that maybe uh, learn something different from what you're used to. And I think you'd be really surprised at what you end up, uh, what you end up finding out. I say as I sit here overriding a whole bunch of trees. Yeah, we will, uh, let's put a few more of these guys here. Make sure we have a little bit of, actually, no, that's too, eh. Well, it's got to count for something at least, right? That's pretty, uh, pretty varied there. So hopefully that's a big improvement there. How are we doing over here on our bridge construction? Things seem to be going somewhat well. I do think we need to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and replace this with our underground pile. That all just get moved <laughs> off to the side here. Just have this to be metal blocks. I think other other than the gears, we should be okay. Well, obviously logs too, but those those will come in due time. Oh, we never got off of a uh, never got off of our single time speed, so we'll fix that real quick. Another thing we need to do is to start replacing all of these with. Uh, some more fun options for our beavers here. So let's go ahead and get rid of these things. They're all paused anyway, so, you know, not really going to be that much of a big loss here. We'll give them the opportunity to harvest all of this stuff, which is going to be some logs. I don't think any gears. Most of this should just be planks and logs. Yeah. That'll be fine. Now that's curious. I for I'd forgotten that I had reassigned this to be uh, to be logs, but there's still metal blocks in here that you don't have anywhere to go. So I guess we really, really needed to have that underground pile stored up. Yeah, we're making good progress here. Hopefully, they can finish that sooner rather than later. I don't think we're going to get this. Yeah, they're not even they're not even getting rid of this. So I think what we're going to have to do. Unfortunately, let's get rid of one of these gear workshops to put these platforms here and then build them back. We're going to have to build them back anyway. But obviously, I'm not going to get rid of the gear workshop while we're actively waiting for gears to complete a ton of other projects. So we will leave that alone for now. Now, one thing I was kind of curious about was, can we find some sort of decorative dam piece possibly to replace the shrub here see if that would look interesting here so we have diagonal levees we have internal corners we have all these different decorative pieces like this decorative corner piece could look pretty interesting in a context like this although the shrubs do have some sort of value in that regard now, I just like the idea of having something interesting to look at here. I don't know, maybe I don't need the, uh, the shrubs here. We'll go ahead and get rid of those. Okay, that doesn't quite match up. What about a square corner? Mm, not, not really. Diagonal. I mean, we're going to unlock all these anyway, so I might as well take a look at them. Slope, slope corner, maybe. I don't hate that. It's kind of, kind of ugly, but we'll try that. All right, so we'll see what that looks like. 
not totally in love with the idea. We might still replace that anyway, but I figure it's uh, something worth trying at least. See what it looks like. I might just, as soon as this is built, just demolish it anyway and put the original thing back in. But we'll try it out. We'll give it a fair shot. Looks like they got most of these other trees planted. I didn't put in over here. I didn't fully fill this out. So let's do that real quick. There we go. That's going to be a little bit nicer. I kind of like this with all these trees here. Makes it seem a little bit more interesting, you know? Now, meanwhile, over here, any more of these trees that we can replace? Yes, there's a couple. We're going to have to be intentional about coming back here pretty regularly to uh, re replace these. There's a part of me that just wants to turn all of these pine trees into maples just for the sake of wood, but... We're going to randomize it a little bit, make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm throw a couple birches in there. Why not? There's no reason not to, right? Uh, how are we doing? Okay, good. We have this set for metal blocks already. And then scrap metal is going to be next. But we don't have enough. Uh, we don't have enough gears presently. We do need 40 of those, but I'm going to go ahead and get these built. So that's going to make this area a little bit more efficient and a little bit nicer looking. We'll be able to build additionally out here as well. Just extend this all the way. That was the wrong tab for that. We're going to have a lot more of these gear works, gear production factories that I never ever call the correct name. That's fine. We'll get that built right away as soon as they finish all these platforms so right now they can't make any gears but it'll be all right now we have all the space right here and we can come into our well-being tab we have our carousel here and i think what i want to do is have ah oh, see this is the perfect this is the perfect uh, dimension for this why can't i build this here ah oh, the windmill that's right I think we can even leave these two things here. Ah, but to do that, then we need... Okay, yeah. So this really isn't super ideal, but I think we can still get this to work. If I can put in a T intersection here, and then... We'll just have to build another set of uh, doodads right here. Actually, no, we're going to be smart. Because we have the power of, well, thinking. <laughs> we can turn all of these into levees. I guess I can give them a fighting chance to get all the uh, all the rubble here. Yeah, let's collect all this stuff. And then build these. We'll force water through here. And then we can actually move the... Uh... No, I think we can leave the carousel in the same spot. But if we put this guy here... Because the power on that side has to go into the back there we go why is that yellow oh because this needs to be a four-way I guess it doesn't need to be a four-way could have just rotated it but I digress this definitely needs to be a three-way I can tell you that right now go ahead and have this be the top priority there all right, and then we need to come in here and put a couple of levees there, and that should force all the water through these guys. Although these two levees right here might negatively impact this guy right here, this water wheel. So we'll see what uh, what ends up happening with that. Why don't they leave this at 98% and just leave? 
That is just, uh, well, ah, uh, they need gears. That's right. That's right. And they can't build gears because they don't have the gears workshops. Okay. All right. I think now we can go ahead and get rid of that guy and start putting these back. Let's have them collect all of this first. There we go, get rid of the path. Then we can just come right along here with our normal path and get these guys all ready to go. Good, that's really going to help a whole lot when we get the rest of this up and running here. Especially having four of these things going. That's going to be nice. Little block storage going well here. Now, is this finally being used for logs? No, there's still metal blocks. All right, well, they really should be kind of transferring that. I guess if I turn this to except from other warehouses, we should get the rest of those in. I don't know, we'll see. How many beavers do I even have in my hauling post? Where is my hauling post? Is it up here? Okay, I've got 10. I have 14 unemployed beavers, though. That's right, because we did these uh, expansions of housing. Oh, this looks nice. Yeah, that's that's really good. I'd forgotten that we, uh, <laughs> we'd already messed with this. Yeah, so let's collect all of this stuff. We'll put a platform here. And then we will demolish this bridge and just have access to this bee from this side. Wait for these guys to come in here. And then we'll move on. And this path doesn't match. All right, so now that that's solved, we'll go ahead and get rid of this guy. And then we'll get rid of the uh, triple platform. I think I can just go ahead and Yeah, they should still be able to get this. And then we can come over here and, yep, there we go. Now, do I do a platform here or do I try to do one of these other levy pieces? Because we have these... Uh... Now, I, I guess I just have to do the regular, uh, regular platform. That's probably the best thing to do. And then we'll just do that guy right there. And then I guess this will just auto-populate that path right there. We'll go ahead and get rid of the bridge. There we go. All right. So that's going to look a whole lot nicer, I think. Or at the very least, to look a little bit, uh, a little bit better. So that is that's excellent. Very happy with that. Now what I haven't done is I haven't marked any of these trees as cuttable. So let's go ahead and do that before I get too far ahead of myself here. Any tree is cuttable. That way we can have a functional and aesthetically pleasing area here. Well, some of these I think I can leave as they are. Now that we have a couple more of these things that have been, uh, shall we say, cut down, removed, come in with a couple more trees here. A couple of chestnuts. Do a maple or two. Maybe a birch back here. What was this one? A maple or a chestnut? Yeah, that was a chestnut. Okay. So that works just fine. We'll leave that as it is. And I think this guy right here is pretty much uh, inaccessible. Oh, yeah, because I put the fence there. Yeah, that was uh, not my finest moment. So we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and get uh, get rid of that guy. And then delete it. Yeah, see, nothing's wrong there. Now, I saw a comment on the last episode that we're going to have a water crisis somewhere in this episode. Still waiting for that to happen, although it has been low. 
I've been keeping tabs on it. I think we're in a pretty good spot for that. We do still have only these four pumps working. And we're pretty low on a lot of uh, a lot of water storage, but I think we're still okay. Now this is working, I guess, not stupendously well here. So what we're gonna want to do? I actually don't even know if anyone can get back here, but I was I was gonna say we should put in. We'll go ahead and get rid of that fence. We'll put in some more levees right here to kind of. Uh, Redirect our water flow. No, I know this requires 400 horsepower, but six of these, six of these going full tilt should be able to provide that. Should. At the very least, we want this whole bit blocked off. I know that's not very aesthetically pleasing. I don't really know what to do to, to fix that. Right now, this is an issue of functionality. Maybe that can be a problem we solve in a future uh, future episode. But for right now, we're just going to kind of do what we have to do here. I think this guy on the far left, this one, should still work. When this guy gets put in place, it's just going to kind of force it sideways a little bit. Yeah? Yeah, that's actually working better. So we're not quite a, not quite at 400. I might need to actually put in a windmill. I don't think there's really anywhere I can. Well, I could put it a, could put this guy here. Do, do they transmit power downward? I don't think they do. Huh. Well, that's something to uh, try and figure out, I guess. What do I even have stored here? Can I get rid of this stuff? Pine resin, pine resin. Where else am I storing pine resin? I don't think I am. Well, I've got 50 in the tapper shack. I guess I don't really need... I don't really need much in here. Well, that's going to be a problem for later, I think. So right now, we're just trying to get the rest of this up and running here. Well, here I was saying that I was going to do another hauling post, and I never built it. Yeah, so we need to do that very quickly. These guys, are they out of range of the path, really? Uh, where's the district center? Oh, we sure are. Okay, well. I think we can solve that problem by coming over here and just uh, doing one of these. There we go. That should be still red, but yeah. Yeah, we're A-OK -okay on that. We still don't have enough gears. Well, the uh, the fact that our water storage hasn't increased more is a little concerning. Am I going to have enough... Uh... Enough room left here to put more... Ooh, no, that's the end of it. That is the very end of it. Well, easy way to solve that is to just uh, eliminate some of our pathing here. And I'll tell you just how we do that. Make sure these guys are getting a little bit more water out of here. I'm going to put spiral staircases here, and that should remove at least four, four tiles from our uh, maximum distance here. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to go ahead and do... Leave that just like that. Put in that guy. And then put in that guy like so. And that is going to work incredibly well. Hopefully. And not just uh, screw us when it comes to uh, getting water. As long as they come and build expediently, then we'll be in fine shape. Just come on, beaver boys, don't let me down here. I guess I could have waited until there were guys actually in here. That probably would have been smart. 
But we do have all the stuff to make this. I just have to get these guys to, you know, do their thing. All right, I'll be with the planks. Hurry up. All right, so I think we're good as soon as this is all finished. There we go. All right, so now, yeah, see, look at all that extra space we got. We can put a couple more pumps up here. Oh, that has to be three high. That's right. So I believe, yes, that is the perfect amount of length to give us two more pumps. Beautiful. So that should help us a little bit. Plus, the spiral staircase looks cool. I really like how this looks. As simple of a thing as it is. Oh, I can't zoom at all. Well, this texture doesn't quite match here. Oh, God, that looks awful. Texture here doesn't quite match, but I'll take it. Looks pretty good to me. I guess now we are actually down to three, two, one. I'll tell you what we're not going to do is we're not going to pause this when the drought starts. We're just going to leave these things going, man. So we got plenty of pumping to do. Come to think of it. Uh, we need to not <laughs> do the uh, schedule here. Although I think since I have this unchecked, we should be okay. I'll just go ahead and disable everything just to be sure. There we go. Yeah, that kind of caught me by surprise, although I think we have a good idea how to fix that now and that we know, thanks to a lot of you in the comments, that uh, this seems to be on a 24-hour schedule and not uh, not days. I don't, I don't know why I thought it was days. It should have been pretty obvious when it went up to 23.5 that it was hours instead of days. I guess that's just a daily cycle. So we might play with that at some point in the future. Right now, I'm just really not worried about it. Now the carousel's done. Yeah, see, there we go. And it's operating even though it's not at maximum efficiency. This guy's not doing any... Not doing any flow. Okay. Huh. Well, I guess that's kind of a side effect of everything being uh, kind of directed this way, but... Well, oh, it's making plenty of power. Except these guys are also using it, so we might want to relocate these someplace else. Paper we haven't even used. How in the world is there still metal blocks waiting to be removed? Oh, come on, guys. Get these things out of here. Got plenty of storage over here. As soon as we get closer to 40 gears, I'm going to build another one of these for the... Uh, what's in here? Scrap metal. There we go. Now, there are a couple other things I wanted to uh, do here. Like, specifically, the uh, back of this hospital here. Let's see if we can dress up this a little bit with our decorative pieces. There's going to be one of these things. I can't remember which one it was. Okay, that's too high. I don't know, that decorative slope thing I don't know, doesn't really uh, doesn't really fit to me on this. That also may have been people asking about this one too. I don't, know, I don't really I don't really hate this probably still gonna end up doing something a little bit different with this eventually but it's kind of weird kind of like it I don't know universities have weird looking buildings all the time anyway especially brutalist architecture yeah I love uh look going to class in a building with no windows so 200 feet high with a concrete block yeah it's great <laughs> no, brutalist architecture is fine it's just not always a uh, most welcoming or inspiring kind of thing well, these guys don't have any power because there's no wind, but hey, you know, the, them's the brakes. Sometimes it just be like that. And we're still not making a ton of gears for some reason. We just not have enough guys to work this. We still have all these unemployed beavers, so I don't know why, I don't know why these guys aren't getting after it. Oh, 
Oh, they're waiting on planks. Okay. So what we really need is we really need more planks, not more gears. How's our power generation? Oh, we're making tons of power. So this really shouldn't be, shouldn't be a question of where's all that coming from. Now the question is, do we have, yeah, we've got space. We've got space here to put in a couple more of these lumber mills. I think, I think I should be able to do this. I know it's not the most aesthetically pleasing thing ever, but sometimes you just have to do it, right? And the further along we get toward the end, I am going to make stuff look nicer since we're not going to need so much production. Oh, it's only going to make that one anyway, so. Alright, well, I tried. <laughs> I can't say I'm not trying. So we'll just have to do that again on this side. Put in one more of these right here. I don't think I'm going to get a second one. Why can't I ever click this right? Okay. Yeah, I just, I'm not going to get, not going to get two more out of it. Just the one. Well, I have, I'm going to have the path symmetrical at least. That's nice. Well, I wonder if I rotate this, I might actually be able to, yeah, let's do that. Yes, I know I already had stuff sitting here. But I think, I think I can do this. It's just kind of throwing me off because it gave me this. I can't, uh, I can't build anything here on there. So let's go ahead and do right like that. Although I think I am going to have to, uh, yeah, we'll just get rid of this one too. Sorry, maximum efficiency lovers. I did make the disclaimer though at the beginning of the series that it wasn't always going to be the most efficient or best building methods. Although I guess that's not really a defensible argument if I'm claiming to do aesthetically minded stuff and still end up doing this, is it? Well, that's fine. Meanwhile, over here we have these guys doing their thing. We still only have 33 water. I guess we really did get kind of behind. Although nobody's died of thirst yet. So I think we're in good shape. So while we're here, let's go ahead and put this guy in and this guy in. And then come over here. I guess I could build the furthest away ones first. This should still reach, I think. Yeah. There we go. All right. As soon as that guy's done. Yep, you guessed it. And it'll reach all four of those. Well, that's got to count for something, right? And we're still making plenty of power to be able to run all of this. All right, now I'm going to get rid of the scrap metal and build another one of these guys. Underground piles and call that scrap metal. So we'll have scrap metal, metal blocks, and planks all right here ready to go. Actually, if we want to be smart about it, I could have moved this entire thing back one and built three more. And I don't think we need the capacity right now. In the future, that's something we could look at doing, though. Now, see, what else can we kind of easily do here? I, I know this is not super aesthetic right here. It'll get, it'll get finished eventually. It'll be nice before we're finished with this map. That's a promise. Whether or not it's going to be uh, functional is another thing entirely. But I think this is a substantial improvement over our previous maps, though. Definitely, for sure. We made some uh, pretty ugly stuff. But hey, the ugly stuff was functional though. I'll tell you what. Actually, that should probably be a chestnut tree. Yeah, there we go. 
make this one a maple. All right. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it is a start to try and uh, intermix a little bit more here. Yeah, I think we're doing well. These guys good to go. Yep, they sure are. Now we just got to get more of these trees harvested, I think. How are we doing on chestnuts? 127 chestnuts. I think we can harvest at least some of these chestnut trees. They only take eight days to get chestnuts anyway. I think we're okay on that. Plus, now I have extra room I can plant more. It's not like that's really that big of a deal. Just have to make sure that our uh, gatherer can reach all of these. And I think they can. Ooh, seven day drought. I don't know if we're going to get all the way through this drought on this uh, this video. We'll see. All right, so now we no longer have any flow over this uh, set of water wheels, which is unfortunate, but as you know, it's just the way it goes. Hopefully we can get some more water in here. Let's not get too distracted. I was putting in some more chestnut trees over here. Now that we have the ability to do all of this here. I guess I probably should just have all of this as replantable chestnut trees, huh? There we go. I don't know why I didn't have that before. I guess it wasn't, uh, wasn't manually grown. I don't know what, what I was looking for there. I guess we probably should, <laughs> this poor guy, oh, he got off. I was about to say the, uh, the carousel is not really going to do too much without the, uh, <laughs> the water wheels turning. So I was thinking about maybe uh, moving these warehouses and putting in another windmill here. I don't know if I can do it on ground level or not. But it's uh it's worth trying maybe. So if I just go ahead and have that, and then that one is pine resin. It's pretty easy to uh just move over here. Where's that pine resin? Yeah. This song is just playing on loop. Huh, I hadn't heard that far into it before. Because it only just plays the first uh, couple bars of that when you click on it. So that's fun. Alright, that is empty now. Alright, so if we come over here and try to put in a windmill, what's it say? Okay, so it has to be elevated. So we might as well at that point just come in here and put in these guys again. And then do one of those. So we'll see, what else are we full on? Uh, I guess it doesn't hurt to just have kind of somewhat random storage of different foodstuffs, huh? I don't think it really uh, makes too much of a difference here. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's not hurting anybody. All right, can't listen to any more of that. The only bad thing about this is, you know, when the wind is slow, the wind is slow. Well, water situation seems to have not gotten any worse, which I guess is, you know, always a plus. Can we handle three times speed? I did want to kind of get through a lot of this. See if we can go a little faster. Actually, come to think of it. How far this guy can plant all the way out there? Wow. Okay, so why don't we uh, why don't we plant down here too? There's no reason not to, right? Just kind of randomly put these trees here. Now the uh, 
question then becomes frog path. What do we do about the frog path? It's not in the water. I'm sure a lot of you frog enthusiasts would rather I just leave the path there. I think I'm, I'm tempted not to, uh, not to stress out about it at the present. I think we'll just kind of randomly sprinkle these in here. I think I reach over there. Yeah. Probably should be most of this should be plantable. A couple of birches for good measure. Doesn't have to be a lot, but it is nice to have a little bit of variety. That's dandelions. What am I doing? No, 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 no. No, that's got to go bye-bye. No, 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 get that out of here. That was supposed to be a birch tree. No, that's already a birch tree. What am I doing? No, that can be... See how easy it is to kind of get... Kind of get off track here. Well, no matter. Probably should be mostly maples anyway. Ah, oh, I put another one here. Glad I caught that one before it got grown too much. No, can't have two of those next to each other. I mean, I can. It's just not the most uh, aesthetically interesting thing to look at. Alright. I promise we're almost done with randomized tree placement. You know, I didn't even check and see if this guy can plant all the way down. Yeah, okay, yeah, he can. Good. Make me feel a little less dumb for going all the way down here. But now, these guys should be able to reach all of these two. Yeah, that's all good to go. I do think this looks a lot better like this. Not perfect. But it is better. All right. These are all working beautifully. Yes, yeah, so we've made some great improvements. In this area alone, water is steadily ticking back up. Yeah, I think we're in a good spot. We are starting to run out of time for this episode here. So I'll go ahead and put this back on two times speed. I know the computer is probably struggling a little bit. The laptop certainly tries its best, but it is not the uh, not the machine I have at home. We'll be back on that one. Probably not by next video. Maybe by the one after that. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Still got a couple more days on the road. So th thanks for bearing with me with all of the uh, the traveling and stuff the past couple of weeks. It's nice to take some time off and visit family and all that, but it's also nice to be back doing all this stuff that's always a lot of fun so yeah lots of good stuff this episode like i said we're not going to get to the end of the drought here but it is a uh, been a productive one so far got about three days left they'll have plenty of time on the back side of the next episode to get everything squared away before the water all comes back so i think for now we're in a good spot just to recap what we accomplished today we did a little bit more beautification to the university area we added this suspension bridge, which I think is a big aesthetic improvement that looks so much nicer than having this weird, ugly thing here. Started randomizing some of the trees over here, although it's not a fully complete job. In fact, we can do a little bit more of it right now. It's already a birch tree. Yeah. Yeah, this will have to be an intentional effort over the next couple of episodes to make sure all of this is taken care of correctly here. I guess I could just keep on looking while we're uh, while we're saying goodbye today, huh? All right, make that a birch tree. Yeah, it's a nice improvement. There's still some stuff over here we can do. I think we have we don't have a ton of uh, ton of space up here. Actually, let's just go ahead since we're already here. 
just go ahead and put in another set of stairs. Now, I don't think I can get this to uh, fully connect. But it might. It might. We'll go ahead and uh, just get rid of that. But I think that's going to be nice when that's done. Then maybe we can put some other fun stuff up here. Not entirely sure what that will end up being. But yeah, that's probably going to be where we're going to call it for today. As always, I really appreciate each and every one of you who watch these videos. It means a whole lot to me for you to take some time out of your day to watch me play a silly little beaver survival game. You've been very supportive, and I really, really appreciate it. And thanks for bearing with me again with this uh, vacation schedule. Being a little bit under the weather hasn't helped things in that front either. But, you know, I always do my best to try and make sure that we're able to uh, keep a relatively consistent upload schedule here. So go into the uh, every other day. Hey, this does connect. Good. Go into the every other day schedule for a while and then every three days. Well, it's not every day, but it is still consistent. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. But yeah, that's going to be all we've got for today. Until we see you in the next episode, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.